I went back to Lowe's today. So um, I'm going to take a break from what I'm doing and I need to go relocate um, the plants I bought because it could look overwhelming to my husband to come home and find a bunch of plants just sitting there. Um, they were on clearance and I do need them to make this new landscaping idea. So let's go peek. I have a lot of cone flowers, but I wanted the planter. It's a pumpkin. It's so cute. So next year, instead of using a real pumpkin to put my mom in for my uh, decorations, I'm going to use this and the deer will need it. But there's technically three different plants here. So I'm going to divide these and plant them. Two of them. I'm going to keep this one. My daughter loved this color. I'm going to keep that. I got some of these Mexican daisies to put into um, the landscape because I don't love them, but they're perennial and they'll fill in some spots. This cute little $2 fern for inside. This really, really, really cute fern with a really cool planter for inside. I think that's so pretty. It's a really, really nice planter. And then this was half price, like I said, and it's going to be my Thanksgiving display for the top of the porch. So the coleus will die. This will die with the cold, the yellow flowers, um, with the creeping Jenny and the um, Hookera Corabelle. Well, that's perennial. So really, you know, I think for the price, it's half of 17 it was a great deal for such a pretty thing to, for people to see come Thanksgiving. And one more of these. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. These African blue basil cuttings that I put in the ground took root really well. They look so pretty. I have got a hot mess going on here, guys. Some of my dirt that I'm moving, shuffling. Poor Tonto's feeling neglected. So I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the tomatoes off of this tomato plant, and I want that pot to put one of those comb flowers in. Tomato plant is chopped up and gone. I found three fruits, but only two I will keep. These are shiny. This one's a matte finish. So for me, these never fully turn properly. So I will not keep that one, but I will keep these two. This had a lot of aphids on it, so it was time for it to go. And now I'm ready to put that pretty cone flower into this planter. Divide this into three plants. Um, so let's see which belongs to which. All right. It's already nice and moist. I'm going to have to use a shovel. actually doing a horrible job guys. Horrible. Okay. So I did a really horrible job. Hopefully I got enough root there.
we'll go find out. I'll give you guys an update. I didn't expect that not to tear apart as easily as I anticipated. It, it was really moist. I thought they would break apart so much easier. It's more successful. So I have a clump I'm going to put there, a clump I'm going to put there, and the teeny clump that was barely successful. I do have roots though here. So make like a little triangle in front of this juniper that I relocated yesterday. But look at how much clay I have in my soil. This is why I have to plant high, especially with like shrubs. Plant them up high a little bit. Can't leave stuff down in this clay. It's just not good. It's just not good. And it's so gravelly too, it seems like. Another problem with clay soil. I know it can retain some water when it's way down deep in the soil, but when it's on the surface like this, it seems to maybe repel it. it doesn't want to let it soak in. So it just kind of sits on top. I guess that's why people use it to make ponds, natural ponds with clay lining. But you can see I was successful dividing a few of the plants out of the big pumpkin planter of cone flowers. I think that'll be a cute little triangle there. I'm going to go ahead and get some mulch down, guys. It's getting very late. And these poor guys, I just transplanted this one, this one, that one and that one yesterday so they need some protection i did water them yesterday i did water them today but they need some mulch and now with a little mulch added mulch makes everything look better and i have to go cook dinner i hate to stop i really 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 want to keep going when i get into projects like this i just want to go 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 until i'm done because it's exciting and it's fun and um, it's something I want to do, but we're going somewhere tonight, so I need to stop and go cook dinner early so that we can have fun tonight. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for following along.